guys, Enlaw Freeze here, and today I'm going to be making a video on Pokemon Go, as you guys can see from the title up above, or where it, wherever it is on your screen, but it's going to be a couple of tips, and then it's also going to be me showing you what my level is, my highest Pokemon, stuff like that. For what level I'm at right now, I don't really have that high of Pokemon, um... Of course, my Eevee evolved, like all my evolved Eevees are my highest ones, as most people's uh, highest ones are. But um, I'm going to go right into showing you guys my roster, and um, no, I never really liked Pokemon. Like, I just started getting into it, so I don't know any of the Pokemon names, but now I'm kind of getting good with it. Um, but I'm going to be showing you... Uh, my Pokemon right now don't have any level of thousands, but um, my level is a level if it will even focus. I don't even know if it's gonna focus, but my level is level 16. Um, so, of course, like I was saying about the EV evolutions, my highest Pokemon um, is a Vaporeon or Vaporon, whatever you guys want to say, um, but he is a level 939, uh, I don't even know if it's going to ever focus, and yes, this is an iPhone 4, don't make fun of me, okay, so yeah, my Vaporeon, as you guys can see, uh, Sparky, which, yes, I did that, uh, one glitch, uh, the Turtles, who is only available in the USA, so that's pretty cool, uh, that Pidgeotto, um, that Flareon, I think, and then that Hypno, and then I also caught that 708 Hypno, and then I literally just, um, evolved a Bellsprout for that 724, I think it is, everything's backwards for me, and, uh, that Ponita I actually found, which I've only caught, well, I've only caught one, and I got the, another one out of my egg, um, and then just a whole bunch of other crap stuff, but, um, like, like Raticades and stuff like that, um, so yeah, I don't really have anything that good, but now I think I can show you my level, level 16, if it will actually focus, yeah, there you go, level 16, and a couple of tips, so, what happens around here a lot is because I don't think we have that good of a server in Iowa, or around here anywhere, but uh, for actually most people, the game freezes when you're catching a Pokemon. Uh, so pretend I'll—it uh, hasn't—it hasn't done that for me recently. But pretend you throw a Pokeball, and, uh, and then you catch it, and then it just freezes. And there's that little loading symbol on the top. It, uh, I think you guys see that most of the time. If it's a very low level, like it's in the green circle and you use the regular Pokeball on him, and you wait for that, like, circle to go away that's spinning that, like, Pokeball, you're more than likely gonna catch him. Um, if he's in, like, the yellow to, like, orangish, reddish, uh, type, and you use an Ultra Ball or a Great Ball, you're, you have to wait for that, uh, like, loading Pokeball symbol to go away, and then you might be able to catch him. A couple of times it's happened to me, like, for a couple Pokemon, uh, like my Hypno, that 708 Hypno that I caught, um, some Raticates, just a whole bunch of crap Pokemon, like Weedles, Pidgeys, it actually happened to my Executes, I only have one, and I found them a couple blocks from my house, so that's actually pretty good. I also caught a 418 Hypno, um, so, yeah. Um, if it does that, just wait for the loading symbol to go away. You might be able to catch it. Um, especially raspberries. Always use raspberries if they're above the 500s, if you're in, like, the 10s to 15 levels, and, uh, just in case it freezes. Um, it's really hard to actually catch Pokemon while you're in your car. Um, I actually tried this on the way to Minnesota. We're, we went to Mall of America about four or five days ago, uh, so yeah, it was pretty fun, yesterday, it was actually my sister's graduation, um, but, uh, what you have to do, 
uh, you can't really catch Pokemon on the highway. I tried that, of course. Um, there's this glitch that, uh, if you're driving on the highway, I was trying to catch some Pokemon, I got a couple, at least, um, but it do this glitch where you, it'd be like a green circle one, and you'd throw a Pokeball at it, you'd catch it, and then it would just break free in like one or two, and then just run off, because you're going too fast, so you're going away from it, so that's why. And you also can't be going above, I think, 30 miles an hour uh, to be able to, like, hatch eggs. I've hatched a lot of eggs, not as much as, um, like, level 20s or something like that, because I don't play this game that much. I actually played it for, like, four days straight. It does not take that much data, so if you have um, at least one or two gigabytes of data, if you guys don't know what data is, that's like, uh, you can walk around and you'll just have internet on your phone. Um, I used it for, I think, like, five days, six days straight, only on Pokemon Go, and it didn't even use up half a gigabyte, so that's actually really good, and, and I have, like, three gigabytes on this, so I could probably play it for, like, a month and a half straight, maybe more, um, and it would not run out if you're playing Pokemon Go, but if you have one gigabyte, you probably could last about a month or maybe a little bit less uh... It depends on if you have other apps open um, and other stuff whenever i go into gyms and i try to battle them my game will freeze in and exit out of it i don't know if it happens for you guys but it happens for me and um... i don't really know what to do about that so if you guys actually know wh what to do about that then uh... please comment down below and I also like to read you guys' comments if you guys do comment on my videos. Um, so yes. Um, and there's this glitch going around where I think you can only do it once for each Evolve, which is the um, the Eevee Evolve. So I think you have to have Rainer for, if you want a Vapor Vaporeon or whatever. That's probably one of the best easy Pokemon to get because he is actually pretty good. If you get Water Gun on him, um, his attacks go very fast, and especially if you're playing against Fire Pokemon, um, he will definitely dominate. He will destroy them, and he's probably one of the fastest. Um, if you're just tapping the screen, he's, pro he's really fast with attacking. Um, mine has uh, Water Gun and then Water Pulse. Um, so yes, of course, uh, Water Ones. Yeah, so his is Rainer. I think it's just rain and then an ER. Um, for the Jolteon, I think that's called. Um, you have to name them Sparky, which is what I actually did on this one. Uh, level 883, I think. I named him Sparky, if you guys can kind of see that. Um, uh, yeah, name him Sparky, that's how you spell it. Um, S-P-A-R-K-Y. And uh, you will... I think you're guaranteed to get uh, the Jolteon, and then also the Flareon. I can't remember what you name it. You guys are going to have to look at a different video for that, but I never actually um, did that for my Vapor Vaporeon and my Flareon. I think that's what it's called. I never actually did that because I don't really like doing that. Uh, but I did for the Sparky just because I popped a Lucky Egg and I could evolve, so I didn't have the Jolteon, so I went ahead and did that. Uh, like I said, I have the Turos that is actually limited to US only, and then there's uh, one limited to the UK only, and there's also another uh, limited to Australia only, and I'm not sure what they're called, but you can get them out of eggs. If you're in the USA, Turos, you can probably find at least one if you've been playing this for about a week. Um, any other states, there are uh, two Pokemon that um, you cannot get in the USA. You can actually get eggs. I think they're 10k eggs or maybe 5k eggs. You hatch them. You could get them because they're only exclusive Pokemon for that region. Uh, so, yeah. Um, what else? Okay, so those Firebirds for each... Um, for each team, like I said, I do not know much about Pokemon, 
but there's a fire bird I think for team red a water bird for uh, team blue and then a uh, electro bird for team yellow and that's basically what they stand for they're pretty cool birds they look pretty sick and people are saying how they think um, that you could probably get them if they uh, may they had like Pokemon events um, so I'm team mystic if any of you guys are team mystic out there then that was a good choice uh, I don't really see many team yellows and that kind of surprises me because uh, usually there's quite a bit of team yellows around different areas but like I said I live in a small town so I didn't I don't really have that many uh, team yellows it's mostly team red team blue I'm seeing most gyms are team uh, red but today I went around on a really long bike ride all of them were mostly team blue and then I tried to battle this team red one uh, to get it back and um, I could not battle it and also if you go to uh, I think it's shop after you put a Pokemon into an arena and you go to shop which actually if you put a Pokemon into the arena I do not advise you put your best Pokemon in there unless you know somebody's just gonna take it over right away if you put a decent Pokemon in there but you kinda need that Pokemon to go around and also fight other gyms I'm not sure I haven't tested this theory yet I haven't heard of this theory, theory yet uh, but if you um, put your Pokemon in there you can't use it for uh, gyms I don't think so um, but actually if you go into the shop which I've never actually done this and uh, you put a Pokemon into a gym and I think it refreshes every 24 hours if your Pokemon is in the gym. Um, up at the top left corner, I think it's, yeah, top left corner. Uh, it says zero and that has like a shield. That means like you're guarding the base. Um, so once you put it in there, I think you actually get 500 Stardust and 10 uh, Poke Coins. So that's actually pretty decent uh, for every like 10 you do or for every 8 you do. Uh, you could get one incense uh, or um, one lucky egg. For every ten that you do, you could get twenty pokeballs or uh, one lure module. For I think twenty, you can get a bag upgrade or a Pokemon storage upgrade. If you guys don't want to spend money on here, of course it's decently expensive. I mean, for me right now, I have like sixty bucks. Um, cause I don't have a job yet, but, uh, yeah, that's basically all my tips. Um, so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please comment, uh, down below what you think about this video and please like the video if you did like it and, uh, subscribe if you're new. Hope you guys liked this video. Like, subscribe, comment, favorite. Till next time, stay frosty, my friends.